this is Emily with my lightning. Good morning. People were forced were forced to evacuate the Hamilton a Hamilton concert yesterday after thunder and lightning. Two hundred millimeters of rain poured down on the west coast on Saturday overnight. Overnight Saturday, three hundred homes around Autoporty Airport had no power on Saturday. State Highway Six in the South Island. Fox Slice as well as Franz Joseph. The highway reopened due to being closed due to a tree blocking the highway. Let's bring in Harper now for a quick update. Good morning, Harper. What can you tell us? Oh. Okay, Harper Scott. Thank you. Firefighters are stamping out a fire in the Auckland suburb of Takapuna on the North Shore. The fire crews were called to a flare-up around 6.30 on Saturday night. Let's bring in Oliver now live from Takapuna. Good morning, Oliver. What can you tell us? Oliver, what can you tell us this morning? Okay, Oliver Fox. Thank you. Police have named the man who jumped off Wellington's wharf this morning on Friday. He's been named as 33-year-old Gareth, Gareth Koro, Koro Arahon. That He's been named as that person who jumped off the wharf and died in Wellington on Friday, January 26th. Another COVID fine is expected for Julie Decades after she broke one of the rules. Let's bring in Sammy Ellington who joins me. Hi, Sammy. What what rule did Juliet break? Okay, Sammy Ellington. Thank you very much. That's Sammy Ellington live for us this morning. Christopher Luxton is expected to have a cabinet reshuffle. Let's go live to political reporter Sammy Ellington, who's in Wellington for us this morning. Good morning, Sammy. Who's likely to lose their portfolios? Who's likely to lose their portfolios, Sammy, that we know this morning? Okay, Sammy Ellington. Okay, Sammy Ellington. Thank you very much. That Sammy Ellington. Life for us. The security guard has been stabbed at an Auckland supermarket on Saturday afternoon at four three forty p.m. Let's bring in at Mount Ross School. On May Road on Saturday, January 27th. Let's go live out of Oliver Fox, who joins me here in the newsroom. Hi, Oliver. What can you tell us? Okay. Okay, Oliver Fox. Thank you. A new bus route has started in Wellington with the number four expected. We sent our reporter Julie Chikadi to test it out. Thanks, Juliet. School returns for me on the 1st of February, but this assembly, but on the 2nd of February, normal timetable resumes. Let's go live, Nada. 
Ariana Chiron, who joins me this morning. Good morning, Ariana. What can you tell us and what do we know? Okay, Ariana Chiron. Thank you very much, Ariana Chiron. That's Ariana Chiron. Life for us this morning. Let's bring in Imogen Brown, who joins me at Hamilton's in Hamilton. Hi, Imogen. Thousands of people were forced to evacuate after oh thunder and lightning. Real ended the show of the Hamilton concert last night. That that was supposed to end at six twenty five. Imogen. Okay, Imogen. Okay, Imogen Brown. Live. Thank you. Let's go live now to Riley One Correspondent Lulu Tucky, who joins me live with Leo this morning. Hi, Lulu. You and Leo are the top students of Riley One. Okay, Lulu and Leo, thank you. Let's go live to Riley 2 correspondent Harper Scott, who joins me now live with Emma Smith. Hi, Emma. Hi, Harper and Emma. You are the top student. Harper, you are the top student of Riley 2, and Emma's the top teacher of Riley 2 as well. Okay, Harper... Scott, thank you. School returns on the 1st of February. Let's bring in Sammy Ellingham, who joins me live now this morning. Good morning, Sammy. What can you tell us? Sammy, what can you tell us this morning? Okay, Sammy Ellingham. Thank you. Donald Trump will face court on March 4, 2024. Let's go live now to US correspondent Mim Berner and Charlotte King. Good morning, Mim Berner and Charlotte King. Why would he face court on March 4, 2024? And what do we know this morning? Okay, Min Berner. Thank you very much. That's Min Berner and Charlie King for us this morning. Okay, Min Bernana and Charlotte King. Thank you. Let's go live now to Juliet Jacades, who joins me. Hi, Min. Hi, Juliet. Hi, hi, Juliet. It's another windy day for Wellington this morning. So what do we know? Okay, Juliet Jacades, 
Thank you. A body has been found in Wellington after a man jumped off the crane on the hooker tier on Friday. Police were alerted to the incident at about 12.45 p.m. and the police dive squad recovered his body at about 2.35 p.m. Just to repeat our top story, a security guard has been stabbed on Saturday in Auckland and Mount Roscoe. Let's go live now to Oliver Fox. Hi Oliver, what can you tell us? Okay, Oliver Fox. Oliver Fox, thank you. Seven people have been rescued after a boat fire in Auckland on... Saturday at 6 p.m. Donald Trump will face court on March 4, 2024. Let's go live now to US correspondent Min Berdiner and Charlotte King in Tampa Bay, Florida for us this morning. Good morning, Charlie Kinman. What can you tell us? Okay, Mim Burdena and Charlotte King. Why will Donald Trump face the court on March 4, 2024? And what do we know this morning? And he's been charged yet again. How many times is Donald Trump going to be getting charged Mim Burdena and Charlotte King? This is a lot of paper that I have here. Okay, Min Better and Charlotte King. Thank you. And that is the news update for today, January 29, 2024. I'll see you tomorrow for the news update for 13 minutes and 08 seconds. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Thank you to Leo and Riley One.